Hello and welcome everybody to a new Blender quick tip video. My name is Michael from the YouTube channel 3D Escape and today I would like to show you how you can speed up your renders a bit and how you can save a bit of space on your local hard drive by deleting some files that Blender creates. So here you see a pretty simple scene. Uh, if we have a look at the 3D viewport, you see it's a default cube. Well, maybe you don't see it, but it's just a default cube with a few um, modifiers applied to it. Uh, displacement and subsurf. And just a really simple shader setup. You see a really quick render here, so you get a quick impression uh, what it should look like. Uh, on the other hand, you have a really, really low resolution render with just a few samples, as you see here. Uh, five samples only. But the goal here was to show you um, a little nice fact. So if we switch between the two slots, so slot 1 and slot 2, you will see it changes here because I press 1 and 2 on the numpad. So if we switch between slot 1 and 2, you don't see any difference. No pixel changes, there is no different value in the pixel or anything else. And the only difference actually is the render time. You see, one takes uh, about 8 seconds and the other one just 4.5 seconds. So that's a pretty huge improvement, it's nearly uh, twice as fast. But um, the only thing I did is to check this little cache pvh function down here. Well, what does this function do? Uh, if you render an image, Blender has to build a pvh tree. Um, as far as I know it, it's basically the geometry in your scene and it just um, gives that to the Cycles render engine. Or I'm not sure if Cycles actually directly does it for itself. So it just processes the geometry um, for rendering and that's called building a PVH tree. But the thing is if you re-render the exactly same image so the, the, the geometry didn't change at all or if you just cranked up the samples or you just ch changed the shader for example, I just want to have a pink shader here, then we could actually skip this building process of the PVH tree. Well, why? The geometry didn't change and that's what the PVH tree is for. So, let's say I change the... Uh, or I have a shader and I check this cache PVH function, I just press F12 and I see, yeah, I kind of like it, but maybe uh, I, it needs a bit more of a bluish tint. And now I just change the shader, press F12 again, Blender skips the pvh building process and just renders the image out with the new shader color. But uh, those cache files that Blender creates are quite massive. Of course it depends on yeah how much geometry your scene is. And um, in this case for example one of those cache files had about 300 megabytes. So I just know that I want to um, delete those cache files now because I know I finished rendering the animation and I don't want to re-render it with a few more samples or with a bit more resolution. So I am totally fine with deleting those cache files because I don't need them anymore. So now I'll go to, or on the Windows, go to a file browser to your local hard drive. Uh, user, whatever username you have, in my case it's Nordican, app data, roaming, uh, Blender Foundation, Blender, the current version, uh, if you have some older Blender versions in here, so for example 2.71, you can delete those directories because they are, they are just like um, artifacts from uh, old times, so you can delete those as well. And then you go to the current Blender version, cache, and I see a bunch of cache files. Uh, you see uh, there are 82 elements in it, uh, 80 elements are just for the rendering here and then I have a few other ones from other scenes. So in total there are 82 cache elements. And you see each of those has a size of 300 megabytes and if we, if we have a look at the properties you see in total they have a size of 23 gigabytes. And those are just from those 80 frames are rendered uh, here on this little animation where the object just moves. And um, again, here's the principle if nothing changes in the scene, so for example if this would have no location keyframes, um, then actually Blender would only create one single uh, PVH cache file because nothing changes in the scene geometry wise. So for example if we would have that cube, uh, let's move it here, if we ha would have that cube, 
And that's the only object in the scene that doesn't change. Blender wouldn't create a cache file for each for each um, frame. So now I want to get rid of those files because I don't need them anymore. I don't want to re-render the animation or anything else. So I can delete those. And bam, I have 23 um, additional gigabytes on my local hard drive. Uh, maybe you have to clear the trash on your desktop now to really get rid of all files. But I think you should um, have quite a bit more space now. Yeah, that was basically it. I hope you like this little quick tip here. And um, yeah, and if you have any questions, just write them down below in the comments. And if you like this video, I would really appreciate if you would support it with a little thumb up or if you would share it on your um, favorite social network. And if you want to support this YouTube channel for further video tutorials and quick tips, uh, please subscribe down below. Um, yeah, that was it. I uh, thank you for watching again and I hope I see you next time.